Here I have the Traxxas XRT, one in 6S today, Castle ESC, Castle 2028, 1700 kV motor, We're running the WFO RC Racing, wide kit on this, the, the metal hub, WFO Mini motor mount on here, got a WFO a Mod 1.5 pinion gear, and an NHX spur gear, and I'm running a Bowhouse spur shot. Of course, got the Gombinaz racing skins on here. Let's see how this thing look. Track. Start. Let's go ahead and do a success pass. Lost some power on that one. Plane is coming. Let's get out the way. That was 109. Not bad at all. Alright, so we'll be back. Alright y'all, back at it. The last pass had a cut. It's all good. I don't have my data log thing to see, but a little aggressive on the throttle, so whatever. Run the same batteries. There's the 109. So it might be a little bit slower, but I'm going to try to go a little easier on the, um, the throttle. Stop. Ring. One more nine. All right, track. Start. Let's go. Let's see. Let's see what we can do. The 
AC. Or wire came off a motor. So won't be able to get back today. So yeah, 109 first pass, 106 second pass. And, uh, yeah. Uh bow house first shaft, working out good. WFO pinging gear. WFO mini mount, China hobby line, success 10,000 mini and lipos, WFO RC racing wide kit with uh, HD knuckles, pretty dope build though, we yeah, had 109, 106 and then that joker popped off so we'll be back at it next time alright, alright y'all peace. All right, y'all. Um, we're back at it. This is the follow-up of that those two runs you just saw. The first one was 109, and then the car did not return. Um, the ESC completely just shut down after that. Um, so here's the log for the 109 miles an hour. <clears throat> My voltage cut off is set for 18 volts, 18.25 volts. Um, our starting voltage is 25.4. Or so on that run so as we're going along you know we're building current you know that black line is my actual throttle and that light blue line is the power out so we're around 50% pulling 227 amps about seven and a half horses we're still coming along we get to about 77% we're at 479 horsepower, 77% output to uh, 479 amps. Um, voltage is at about 22.5. And then we're going and going and going. We're still going. Right now we're at about 550 amps. And then we get to a full out. A full out right here that's a hundred percent or well, 99 percent output so once we hit about a hundred percent output we're at 602 amps and then we we spike up in amps we hit about 672 amps um we're at 20.4 volts <clears throat> for the success pack and then we're at 44,000 rpms and then we go along and the voltage is, is jumping up and down. RPMs is going up. RPMs is going down. Right here we hit 49,000 RPMs. You know, that's when the, when, when the amps drop down to 616, we hit 49,000 RPMs. And then we're just, the amps go back up and we lose RPMs, 4,600. Now we're climbing. Going, it's just all over the place. And then by the time I hit the brakes, ESC to shut down so that's the run what I can do is I can be a little bit more I can be a little easier on the gearing I mean not the gearing but the actual throttle pull or I can honestly just run 8s but I'm I'm gonna push it on 6s so we'll look at the other run here here's the second run for 106 miles an hour that's the moment the wire popped off the can Uh, grass smoothing is off, so the grass does look, look a little choppy. And here's that particular run. This run we started off at about 24.9 volts. And then we're going along, we're going along. We're trying to be easy on it. We're trying to be real easy on it. You know, at about 70% power output, we're at 11.5 horsepower, 370 amps. And then as we're, we're going along, we're at about... 90% power output, which is about uh, almost 14 horsepower, 484 amps, 39,000 RPMs. And as we go along a little bit more to we hit peak amps, here's the peak amps. Peak amps is 590. And then the voltage is at 18.9, so we lost voltage since we're lower now. 
Ripple is, is a one volt three. We're at 43,000 RPMs, 14.9 horsepower. And as we straddle along, it's just going up and down, up and down, up and down. RPMs is increasing, which is good. But everything is just is just fluctuating. And then then the lead popped off here. You see we lost all RPMs. But I am slamming on the brakes. But yeah, I'm just showing you all the data. So that was a run on 6S with the XRT with the 2028 1700 KV. I'm running the CNHL uh, 6S 10,000 milliamp lipos. Good bill. We'll be well. I'll bring more about this, but I just wanted to show you all the data log. So thank you guys for watching, and uh, we'll be back at it. I'll take it easy. Peace.